Ciao ragazzi, Anthony here for Inter Worldwide with a very minimal reaction on this very sunny, very gorgeous Easter Saturday. So let me just tell you my story and where we stand at the moment. So clearly, we've dropped more points. We've drawn 1-1 one, one in Salerno, in the beautiful Amalfi. Uh, we took the lead in the sixth minute through Robin Gossens. I was not awake at this time. I was asleep at this time. Uh, we then proceeded to keep control of the game to an extent. Uh, I woke up around about minute 63 and thought to myself one thing when I saw that it was 1-0 to us. I thought this is either going to end 2-0 to us or 1-1 to Salernitana and I need to make sure I'm in a position to profit from this. So I got out of bed, did what I do and proceeded to watch us throw the game away with some bad substitutions but more importantly some missed opportunities. Lukaku Horrible miss. He's such a fucking waste man, bro. He's so shit. He is shit. Lautaro. Disgusting level finishing. Just because this guy turns up once every seven or eight games and puts together two or three games back to back where he can put a few goals away doesn't mean he's good enough. I don't think he's worth 45 million, let alone 60, 70. I hope Lautaro leaves in the off-season. Thank, thanks for being a good part of our history. I hope Lautaro Martinez leaves in the off-season. And I hope that this is the last time that I say that and then do a U-turn on Lautaro. Because I think we're up to maybe the third time now of me saying that Lautaro Martinez needs to leave Inter for a good price. Forgive me, I don't have a lot of time today. That's why I'm pretty much just doing this on the run, on the drive, I should say. There is no way Romelu Lukaku will still be at this club next season because he's just shit and he's wank. He's awful. He's absolutely gobsmackingly shit. I cannot stand the guy. I cannot stand him one bit. I cannot stand him one bit. Um, I, I just, I don't feel emotionally attached to any of these players anymore. I don't. I don't. I don't feel emotionally attached to any of these players anymore. Not to Bastoni, not to Skriniar, not to Brozovic. My love for my baby boy Nico is starting to fade. It's not Inter. You know? I don't recognize this Inter. I would say this is the furthest I've ever felt from the club in a long time. And it doesn't help this morning that you can simply call Bet365, put a very small bet down and get a very big amount back and say, Hey, Inter's paying some stuff at the moment. Doesn't help. All you're keeping kept reminding of is that you're stuck with Napoli up until January. You beat them. And then you've proceeded to go from second. And I think at one point we were a good five points clear in second as well. You've gone from second to now potentially being fifth. We're very lucky Milan are not as shit as us, but just only the tiniest bit better, which doesn't translate into three points. Because they couldn't get it done against Empoli. Lazio play Juve. So one of them has to drop points. I'm actually hoping Lazio wins and pushes them further ahead into second. I'll take our chances trying to get one of the last two spots rather than trying to compete with a Juve. Like, if they win this game, they'll be minus four to us before getting plus 15 back. Now that is probably the most embarrassing thing of our season that no one's talking about. That's a bit of an elephant in the room at the moment, eh? If Juve end up overtaking us on the table before getting their plus 15 back, that is absolutely disgusting and repulsive to the point where I will not even try to defend us on that. It's important to be realistic and to be sane in scenarios like this. So we better kick ourselves up the cooler pretty soon because dropping more points to Salernitana, that's horrible. Inzaghi, if he wasn't in the quarterfinal against Benfica, he'd be gone by now. He'd be gone by now. The only reason he's still there is because Benfica awaits in the quarterfinals and our managerial board and our owner is still looking at this tie like it's fucking winnable. Did Benfica lose to Porto this morning? I didn't even check that result. If they did lose, it's their second loss all season. We've lost 10 just in Serie A. And then we lost two to Bayern, didn't we, in the Champions League? 
So yeah, anyone who's trying to gear themselves up for a good performance against Benfica, we just put in the worst possible outcome prior to going up against Benfica. And that's conceding a 90th minute fluke howler against a retirement veteran former Inter player, Antonio Candreva. When the fuck does this nightmare end? He did the same thing for Sampdoria in the day that they beat us 2-1 with Keita Balde scoring the last one. I guarantee you, if Federico Bonazzoli was still playing for Salernitana, he would have scored against us as well. Buona Pasqua to all. I don't know how, like, I, I just, I'm so done with this season, man. I'm so done with this season. It's not even a feeling of, of, it's just emptiness now. It's emptiness. When I look at this team, I'm reminded of everything it could have been, but more importantly, everything it's not. And those are just the facts. Buona Pasqua, happy Easter, ciao.